sky in big plane. Boeing 747? Oh, there you are. What do you want? What are you doing? I'm just trying to be alone. Trying to get in contact with my spiritual core. Oh? It's just we need a fourth for Solo. All right. It's Saturday night and we're going out for some well-deserved R&R. Now you've been moped around this hut all bloody week. So get yourself shaved, chuck your best strides on, but leave that bloody hat indoors, eh? Because hopefully we'll be talking to a woman. What are you saying? I look a radish in it. No, no, no. A pillock. Where is his borrowed? It's about ten miles outside the res. Now, isn't that infinitely better than all that dirt chicka dirt shite you're normally listening to? Yeah, I gotta admit, it's growing on me. That's because it's timeless, kid. They'll not be playing Atomic Kitten in 20 years' time. No! Oh, hey, this is the bollocks, yeah? Yeah? Stetsons and sawdust, beer and burgers, the clatter of the pool balls, and the sound of country music on the jukebox. <laughs> the American West. Right, right show, look at the men. What do you want, lads? Where are you guys from? England. But you don't get many Brits in here. Hun, we get backers, backers, dopers, ropers, speedheads, cowboys, and grease balls. <laughs> Welcome to the Windy Mesa, boys. What will it be? Would you pick up the phone? Cause half of the time there's nobody here when I answer the phone. Alright, Barry? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the Cuervo Gold, the fine Colombian. Make the night a wonderful thing. <laughs> See you, Dan. Oh, I love Steely Dan. You like the ladies, don't you, Niv? No more than most. Oh, I think you do. There's nothing wrong with that. The trouble is, as you get older, you become horribly aware of all the young flesh that will never be yours. I mean, well. When you're young, anything's possible. Anything's anything. But when you get to our age, you know you're never gonna bonk Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Holly Berry, far the choice. You don't. He's an amazing old guy that medicine man. He's over a hundred years old. He eats a lot of yogurt. <laughs> He's lived a whole century through two world wars. Does he stick pins into wax dolls and give you an eddy? That's voodoo your hair, brain. Oh, yeah. The lady says he's got mystical powers. He can shapeshift. Shapeshift? That's what the Indians call it. What does that entail? Uh, changing shapes from one thing to another, like um, a deer into a dog or a dog into an eagle. Could he change me into Johnny Depp? <laughs> I bet he pushed it a bit, Moxie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'll play real butter beer, kid. That's our table. I'm sorry? That's our table. Hey. It's their table. Hey, it's our bar, chief. What, you own it, do you? Oh, it's, it's not worth it, mate. Oh, well, you look at this. We got brothers here. Your feather heads over here. Where are you funny talking pig farts from? Pig farts? 
and this from a bloke with more oil on his seat than a double deck our bus. If there's a problem over there, take it outside. Oh shit, what's Oz done now? Oz has done nothing now. What's your matter, how What's the problem? It's not my fault. This greaseball here obviously fancies his chances. Now, I'm quite happy to go outside with him and give him a kick in the bollocks, but it's not my fault. Oz, what? You've already been to jail for it in a bloke. You don't want to risk that again over these two skunks. Remember when we're all out on deal? Travis, if you don't want to have a good time like everybody else, you get your redneck ass out of my bar now! Thank you. Another time, pig farts. <sighs> Promise? Oh yeah. Cheers, Collie. Look, give him Fred Peck. You know, I won't take to cause any aggro, you know. It's too kind of place, man. Didn't understand a word, hun, but next beer's on me. Oh, thanks, Pet. Except for all of us. Yeah. Free beer. Morning, Jeffrey. Morning, sir. I had a call last night. Teesside police are looking for you. Well, I hope you tell them I never touched the woman. It's a pack of lies. <laughs> It's about that body that was washed up. I want the whereabouts of Oz and his bridge north chums. They're in America. Oh? Putting the bridge up in Arizona. Who told you that? That piss artist Irishman, Calhoun. They paid him to draw up the erection schedule. He was fishing for more money by telling me. It's a bit sneaky of Oz, pulling a flanker like that. I agreed a rock bottom price because I was told the bridge was going to scrap. It's water under the bridge now, I suppose. Sarah. Sorry about that. Well, not necessary. The legal eagles might argue change of circumstance, failure to disclose. So what will you do? Well, knowing those seven hapless loons, they'll find a way to cock it up. <laughs> and if they don't, I have a couple of cards up my sleeve. Oh, good. The book's selling quite nicely in Portuguese. <laughs> We've already bent the rules. We have seven outsiders working here already. If it wasn't for them, there wouldn't be a bridge. There wouldn't be any work for a young man. Excuse me, if your son won't do it, surely there's other crews up in Las Vegas that will. Never, hoss. Not our people. Oh, I see. Now you've moved the goalposts. Now it's not just Native Americans we're looking for. It's got to be chopping horse. You're one of the smallest tribes in the Southwest, man. Don't you talk to me like that. I'm sorry. Sure. It's got a point, Charlie. We need to look elsewhere. Our own people refuse to work on a bridge. Hey, B, that's the way it's meant to be. Look, I'm sorry about losing there, you know, but I mean, this is a big problem. I mean, without steel men, we're buggered. Charlie Fox has been looking for an excuse to Deep Six's tragic rape from the get-go. But isn't Chip your brother? Lady, can you not reason with him? Well, he's my half-brother, for all that implies. <sighs> well, let us talk to him, you know what I mean, the lads? That might make a difference, you know? I mean, we're not family, you see? I mean, we're working men the same as he is. We've come a long way to build this bridge. You know, Chip's beef has always been with you, Dad. I think it's worth a shot. Yeah. Right. What do you want? Ned? Oh, Brenda. You're uptight? No, no, I'm, I'm not uptight. I just wasn't expecting you to call. Must be the middle of the night. Oh, Christa's got a cold. I've just got her settled. What are you doing? Nothing. Well, I'm, I'm sort of meditating. Seriously? Aye, uh -huh. I'm sitting on a rock watching the sun going down. That's good. I've always tried to get you to be a bit more spiritual. Well, it's easier here when you... Surrounded with a vista of timeless beauty, you can clear your mind of the commonplace and mundane. Didn't you castle win? I've no idea. Oh, Brenda, man, go and get the newspaper. I'm in bed. Well, what did you call us for, man? I'm meditating. I just thought you'd like to know the police called round today. Huh? Right, what you got? 17. 18. Ah, that's enough, son. You'll make me feel bad if I win any more of you. I want to play on. Look, you dropped a bundle at the casino the other night, didn't you? Eh? 
Listen, what I work my bollocks off here, it would be stupid for you to go home with nothing to show for it. Who are you kidding us? We're never going to finish this job without the steel erectors. That's what we're going to Vegas for, isn't it, you daft little bollock? Listen to me, man. I'm older than you, I know what I'm talking